Hey everybody, you're watching Ready, Set, Drone. Uh, it's evening here, almost dark, almost completely dark outside, and I've been flying some FPV today, having a lot of fun uh, trying out some new quads, including the uh, Ashuriken and my old uh, Helipal Owl, which is right here, and um, my Storm, my old Storm, which now has the um, uh, AccuSync transmitter on it and I've been flying this with AccuSync which is really just amazing and I've been using both the new race goggles right here and my old goggles because I wanted to do a little comparison. So I had some questions uh, when I released the video a couple days ago about these I had some questions in the comments about um, specifics on these some things I didn't have a chance to test before I released that video so I'm gonna try and answer those questions for you in this video so stay tuned. All right, so in this video, I wanna answer a couple of questions and then I wanna actually go through some details about the transmitter uh, that you can buy for uh, the OcuSync transmitter that you can buy that works with uh, these goggles as well as these goggles. And that is actually the first question. People have been asking the OcuSync transmitter and the uh, camera that DJI is selling to go with it, antennas, the whole kit to put it onto your racing drone. Um, the question was, does it work with the old goggles? And the answer is yes. Um, there is a sync button on the side of this OcuSync transmitter, which I'll show you in a second. You push it, you go into the menu on your old goggles, and you do linking just like you were linking to your Mavic. And the uh, new OcuSync transmitter links perfectly with these. And it is like you're flying a much faster, uh, much more agile Mavic. So uh, only the picture is much clearer than it would be if you're flying a regular racing drone. So it can be done. So if you have the old goggles and you wanna buy the new transmitter, um, they will work and work perfectly with the new transmitter and you can put them onto your racing drone. So that's awesome. The second question I have been asked a couple times is if you get um, a heads up display in the new trans or the new goggles, um, if you're using the analog uh, signal in the new goggles. And the answer is yes. This is a Helipal Owl, I think it's what it's called. Um, it's a pretty cool little quad. It's actually one of my favorite little FPV racers because it's completely encased in uh, this carbon fiber frame. So I think these are the original props. I've never had to change props on it and I've crashed this thing lots of times and this carbon frame has taken a beating. Uh, it's also nice because the battery sits on top. So many quads today, the battery sits on bottom. But the point is that this has a um, video transmitter and a camera and this actually has a heads up display that is transmitted with some telemetry about battery level and your uh, artificial horizon and a couple of other things. I don't remember all the things that are on it, but they do show up in the goggles when you're in analog mode. So it's just like wearing your Fat Sharks or your Omways or your Kylans or whatever, because you can see the telemetry coming off of your FPV racer, which is awesome um, because you need that. I figured that was a case because it's all being transmitted over the same uh, analog video signal, but I hadn't tested it and people wanted to know. So yes, you can actually see the heads up display uh, that's enabled on your FPV racer through the new DJI uh, Racing Edition goggles. So the final thing I wanted to do was just take you through real quick how I installed the kit that they send you with the um, OcuSync transmitter and how easy that is to put on an existing racer. Now this is a Storm, Helipal Storm, it's a pretty old racer that I have, um, but you could put this on just about anything. The only couple of things you're gonna need are obviously a big enough place to mount the camera because it's a fairly good sized camera compared to some of the other smaller ones. A place to mount the transmitter, which by the way, gets pretty hot. So you're gonna wanna make sure it's got some place with some airflow. Uh, power supply for the transmitter and then a place for your antennas. This quad just worked out perfectly for it. It's a standard carbon fiber, you know, standoffs kind of thing. Um, I did not build this quad. Uh, I have built one similar to this, but not not this one specifically. But let me just show you some of the details on how this how I put this together. That is the um, OcuSync transmitter that is on top of the Storm Racer. I've got it on there with a couple of zip ties and a little bit of um, the soft edge of Velcro on the bottom to kind of keep it padded a little bit. Uh, and as you can see, it has over here 
there is actually a card slot on this side and there is a uh, reset button that allows you to bind it with the um, with the OcuSync goggles, whether that's the original DJI goggles or the new Race Edition goggles. Uh, on the back, or actually on the front, there are two cables that go out of it. One cable is the power cable, which goes down to, to my power distribution unit, which is underneath down here. And then the other cable goes to the camera, which is right up here. And I've got the camera kind of laid in there with some um, some foam and some tape and stuff just to kind of hold it in place. This was supposed to be a temporary setup, actually, and I'm planning to do something more permanent. And then over on the back is two cables that go out to the antennas. And these two cables are wrapped around these two standoffs right here, and then they go up to uh, the actual antennas, which are also connected to these standoffs. Now these are DJI antennas, and uh, they fit pretty well, and so far they've been pretty rugged. I've crashed this thing a few times, and uh, it's gone pretty well so far. But that's it. You got the transmitter, the antennas, the camera, and then you need to just plug everything into the power supply to give it power and uh, mount the camera, and you're good to go. And what this gives you is a crystal clear OcuSync picture that you don't get from your normal 5.8 gigahertz um, FPV transmitter. So just to recap, yes, you can use the original goggles to view the new OcuSync unit that DJI is selling that I have right here. Uh, it works perfectly. It's just like pairing with the Mavic. So if you already know how to do that, you're good to go. And it is about as clear as the Mavic as far as the picture quality goes. Amazing stuff on a racing quad, number one. Number two, yes, you do get a heads-up display. Um, with the new goggles in analog mode. So this little uh, Helipal uh, Owl does put off the heads-up display and I could see it perfectly in these goggles as I was flying. Uh, great new experience flying with a bigger screen and a little bit more battery life. Uh, number three, there aren't a whole lot of differences between these two other than the analog display. They're a different color, but essentially same design, same battery, same screen resolution, same control menu system, everything else is pretty much the same. So if you already own a pair of these, um, I don't know. I don't know if this is worth it or not. If you're a hardcore FPV racer, then yes, it might be. But if you're not, if you're just into flying DJI drones with OcuSync or flying stuff that has an HDMI cable like the uh, Phantom 4, then I'd say maybe you just stick with these. But regardless, uh, if you're a racer, these are fantastic. And then finally, as sort of a summary here, I will tell you that um, this thing right here, this unit is super uh, easy to put on. All you have to do is um, plug it into the power distribution unit, plug the camera in, mount the camera, mount the antennas, and find a good place for this to live on your drone and you're good to go. And it really is a game changing experience as far as flying at PV goes. If you like this video, I hope you'll hit the like button. And if you really like it, I hope you'll subscribe and we'll see you next time on Ready Set Drone. Thanks for watching.